At Arizona State University, we're providing research and workforce development opportunities to support the global transition to a low carbon economy. And so when we think about smart and distributed power systems that provide localized, resilient and low cost power and renewable power, what we need to do is speed up the design practices and improve design methodologies to reduce the time that it takes to get projects started. To address that need for scale, we formed a strategic partnership with Zindi. Zindi is a cloud-based microgrid design platform that provides technical and financial evaluation to cut the design time down by 80%. One of the values that we've seen is it combines multiple different software packages into one tool that's easy to use and that can provide technical guidance as well as financial guidance to get your project started. Getting out the Marine Corps as an infantryman, I really didn't know where I was gonna go with my future. And I had the GI Bill, fortunately, to get me through college. So now I'm focused on electrical engineering. It appears to me that Zendi is a very useful software tool that cuts down hours, even days of manual calculation figuring out the long run cost, the short run cost, and the power usage, the power requirements, and the power available or that the microgrid would need to supply. I'm in charge of nine bases throughout NAVFAC, and our job is to keep all the voltage coming in from sustainable SDG&E all the way down to the ships, the aircraft. If we lose power, which is the most important part right now, the base could not operate or run. So the Miramar, microgrid project was really designed for security uh, background. We have gas, natural gas that we can put into it. We have microgrid uh, solar panels, uh, farms throughout there. They all dump into this new program, which will really just sustain us, I believe, for 30 days without any electric whatsoever from outside. So that's where we're trying to get to in the future, but for every base, because more ships, more aircraft are using higher voltage, and we need to bring our, our, our substructures up to uh, current uh, codes and all. They're very old. So what I need to get done is through the Zindi, uh, Zindi project is that I can put in there my uh, older 480 voltages that are going in and maybe look at what it's going to take to go to the 13.2, which is the future. So this project allows us to do that in any aspect, which I thought was really, really cool. It's advanced, but it's also on a level that we can all understand. And that's what I like about this whole program, real easy to use.